first step in changing the vinyl on the vinyl cutter is to unlatch the latches on the two sides of the vinyl that's currently in the machine. Raise the levers and then slide them out of the way and then you can remove the vinyl from the machine. You can then replace the vinyl with the vinyl that you're going to cut. In this case we're using a t-shirt vinyl. Place the vinyl on the two rungs on the bottom, lining them up with the guides and then slide the vinyl through the back of the machine, aligning the two rollers on either side of the vinyl with the marks on the front, which we'll show you in a minute. Once they're aligned, raise the levers on both sides and you're ready to go. From the machine, you're going to adjust the two rollers on either side, lining them up with the gray box above the edge of the sheet. Line the roller up and then lift the latch on the back side to lock the roller in place. Do this on both sides of the vinyl. To load the vinyl, you need to tell the machine what you are currently cutting. So your first step is to tell it you're using a roll. Pushing the up or down arrows, you can switch from roll to piece. Make sure that you select roll, if you are using a roll, and then push the enter button. Once you've placed the enter button, then you can set your force and your speed. Push the force button once, and you can check the force. If you're cutting t-shirt vinyl, your force should be at about 150 grams. So you can change it by pushing the up or down arrow, and then push enter. If you're cutting regular adhesive vinyl or stickers, that force would be 90 grams. You then must adjust your speed. Push the speed button once, and the speed should be adjusted to a number less than 20 centimeters per second. You can once again push the up or down arrows to adjust the speed um, to the speed that's desired. More intricate designs would require a lower speed. Uh, simple designs could be cut at a faster speed. In this case, we're going to set it to 15 centimeters per second, and then we're going to push in. Once the vinyl's loaded, your force and your speed are cut, you're then ready to start cutting your vinyl design. Get your file ready to cut on the roll and vinyl cutter. The first thing you're going to do is open your file and go to Illustrator. In this case, we have some, some names that are going on the back of some t-shirts, and they've been designed in a two-color format. Each color is on a separate layer. We have blue on one layer and silver on the other. In this case, we've loaded silver and we're going to cut that first. So we're going to turn off the blue layer in the layer palette by clicking on the eyeball. That's going to give us just the silver that we're going to cut. Now what we need to do is select everything that we want to cut. One way is to hit Control A and select everything on your screen if you're going to cut everything. Another way would be to simply hold down the shift key and click on multiple items. In this case, we're cutting everything. So Command or Control A and we're ready to go. Now, in the Roll and Cut Studio screen, which is the small screen you see on the right hand side here, it's going to show us what we're going to cut. There's a little red check mark that we're pointing to here. Click that to decide what you're going to cut. Any lines that are red or vectors that are red will cut. So we want to, see, we want to have those lines hot and we want to be ready to cut. Once those are selected and you're convinced that you're cutting the right material, you can then click on the large R icon, which will send it to the Cut Studio software. Now in the Cut Studio software, we can see exactly what it is that we're going to be cutting. The first thing you want to do here is make sure you have the correct printer selected. So you're going to go up to File and down to Cutting Setup. Under Cutting Setup, make sure you have the Roland GX300 selected for the printer, and then we're going to click on Properties. Under Properties, we can tell the software how big the vinyl is that we're cutting by simply clicking on the Get From Machine button right here, and that will um, load the correct size into the software. Click OK and click OK again, and I believe we're going to be ready to cut. Oftentimes when you are cutting, it's easier to create a weeding border that will allow you to weed the design much more easily. So if you select the box tool over on the left-hand toolbox, you can then just draw boxes around those areas that you want to make it easier to weed. The 
this will allow the cutter to cut this box, and then as we pull the material off, it will be much easier um, to clean the design up as we are weeding it. Now, if you're cutting a t-shirt design, it's important that you mirror your design or flip it backwards. So under the object menu, up at the top, you can select the mirror command. And what the mirror command is going to do is flip the design backwards. Now, you'll notice nothing happened because we had the one box selected. We need to select those items that we want to mirror. So once again, we can hit Control or Command A. All right, or you can click and drag around the entire item and then go to Object and try and click Mirror again. And you'll notice your image then is mirrored or backwards. All t-shirt transfers must be mirrored or your designs will not come out properly. Once you've mirrored, you're then going to click the cutting icon, and you should be ready to go. At this point, you're going to click OK, and you'll be ready to cut. Once you hit the cutting button on the software, then the vinyl cutter should start to cut, cutting out your design. As you can see, the knife will move back and forth as the vinyl moves in and out of the machine to create the design. Complex designs can take a while to cut, so please be patient. Once the design is cut, we're going to need to advance the material out of the machine and cut it off so that we can weed. Here you can see it cutting the weeding borders that we defined earlier. design has finished cutting, you will need to advance the vinyl out of the machine and cut it off so that you can weed it. To advance it, you're going to push the down arrow button. Advancing the vinyl out of the machine until the design passes just past the cutting slot. The cutting slot is located right here. Okay. Then you're going to push and hold the sheet cut button for about two seconds carriage will cut the vinyl off and then you'll be ready to weed. And now we're ready to go. The final step before we adhere to the t-shirt is to weed your design. Once it's been cut, you're going to use a weeding tool and what you're going to do there is use that to hook the corner of an area that you wish to pull out. So we're going to select a corner and very carefully start to weed our design. I'm sure you can see we can peel the vinyl back. Being careful as we pull around the different letters not to pull off any of the vinyl. On small designs, sometimes you'll need to use the weeding tool to hold down the vinyl so it doesn't peel off. Be extremely careful not to remove any part of the design that you wish to be transferred to your shirt. Notice how we're holding the vinyl down now with the weeding tool as we pull that vinyl back. Be careful as the vinyl sticky and it can go back and stick to other portions of the image, removing them when you possibly do not need to or want to. Notice how the weeding order provides you with a nice clean method of removing the image without having to do the entire sheet. Once you're weeded, you can either use the weeding tool or you can use a tweezers to remove the small areas inside of your design as well. So with the tweezers, you can go in and clean out the centers. In this case, this is a background color and it doesn't have any of those small areas. But if it did, we use the weeding tool or the tweezers to remove those areas. Now we've got our second color and are ready to weed that. So once again, using the weeding tool, we're going to just pull up inside of our weeding border that we cut and we're going to remove that vinyl that we do not want on our design, being careful to leave our design, in this case the letters, intact. Use the weeding tool to remove those areas that we do not want. Said earlier, fine designs with much detail it could take quite a while to weed, so take your time pulling out those areas that you do not want to print.
if you find the vinyl difficult to weed, it could be a matter that the force is not set properly on the vinyl cutter. Sometimes increasing the force by as little as 5 grams can make all the difference when cutting. Once you're done weeding, then you can go back in with the tweezers or the weeding tool to remove any of the centers of your design that didn't come off in the initial weeding process. So here we're going to pick out the centers of this D by clicking in, clicking, by grabbing and pulling off the vinyl inside those areas. The tips of the tweezers sometimes can be an effective tool to remove those areas. Proceed till you have your entire design weeded, and then we will be ready to transfer it to the shirt. Transferring the design to your t-shirt is relatively simple. You need your two vinyl colors that you weeded. The second thing you need to do is make sure that the press has been turned on and preheated to 325 degrees. The control will be on the top and the setting on that should be about 6.5. First thing you need to do is load the t-shirt onto the platinum press making sure that it's free of wrinkles and laid out properly. Smooth the design out, close the cover of the press for about three seconds just to remove any wrinkles. Take the first color of your design, take the side down and position it where you would like on the shirt, making sure that you get it square and straight. If you don't, simply lift it and set it back down again. First design should be pressed for about three seconds. Once your design is transferred, you can simply peel the plastic and leave your design in place. Take the second color, line it up properly with the first, sticking it in position, and then transfer that for six seconds. Your timer is set here at six, it will buzz when it is done. 